Hi guys! Right, I've literally just got the uh, this plane. So, the I-207-4, what's it really like? I don't know yet. So let's go and have a look. So the, uh, the information on it, tier 4. So, basic, so we're looking at multi-role fighter. So what has it got? Let's look at the upgrades. So you've got bombs to start off. Now let's before we do anything first of all we want to get some basic equipment on always basic equipment fire extinguisher first aid kit and i was put control services in boom go like that oh must be a uh, half price at the moment which is always nice next behind free you know always good so uh checking the upgrades of this what happens if you take the bombs off now what have what have we got i presume maybe the mobility and airspeed change okay so airspeed increases by four uh red climb increases by 0.9 maneuverability stays the same so okay so now we know what happens if you take the bombs off right so we want to compare this to a mobile plane at tier 4 so let's well let's look at other multi-role planes at tier 4 and see what we've got so multi-role multi-role like the AR and the F2A so we we'll do a straight comparison of these and we so we can see just what the new plane is like so survivability 140 is looking really really low weight 2240 compared to 2600 and 2500 so this is incredibly fragile that's something to watch out for right gun armament so 20 mils 220s two 7.92s and uh, the rockets uh, sorry but presumably bombs uh this has got let's see two bombs and four seven seven point uh, six twos so n a nice amount of machine guns but only 124 points the buffalo on the other hand has got 12.7 mils two 12.7s uh, four 12.7s so it's got a lot more punchy uh, guns but it's only 40 more points now we're looking to look 200 pound bombs We'll check out the bombs in a minute. Now, let's look at the airspeed. This must have something going for it. So, uh, well, the thing that's going for it is a free plane. And like the free tanks, they're always the best, aren't they? So, um, <laughs> who who knows of what the, yeah, the tanks are like? They're normally absolutely amazing, aren't they? What do, they, what do people say? They're a free garage slot. Uh, is is this a free hangar slot? That's what we're here to find out today. So, um, top speed, 272, identical to the AR. So that in itself is really good. So we're looking nine more than the uh, the Buffalo. So it's uh, that speed in itself is looking really good. Now, maneuverability. Oh yeah, we'll have a look at the store speed. Store speed of the AR is 70. Store speed of this is 80. And the Buffalo is 120. So that's pretty good. And now, then we come to the rate of climb. 42.3. It climbs like a badger. The, the, compared to the AR, which climbs at 32.8. And the, uh, the Buffalo, 35.9. So it's 7 faster than the Buffalo. Let's have a look at the dive speed. 550. The AR dives at 460, and with the Buffalo 520. So it's the best in maneuver, uh, best of airspeed or joint top, but all the other characteristics are better than anything else. Okay, so that's that's leading me with good um, good thoughts. Now let's check the maneuverability. The Buffalo is 10.3 seconds to turn 360. This is 8.6. 8.6 is fighter level. So you've got great rate of climb, great diving very good time to turn of 8.6 seconds matching the AR rate of roll 120 wow that's better than the AR and equal to the buffalo but you've got a two second improvement or 1.7 second or whatever improvement on that so this is going to be incredibly nimble controllability is one point better than both of those 
altitude performance 600 meters so it works lower compared to, well so so we so we've got a fragile plane with very good characteristics and guns that seem all right but we've got to test them out so like always do you want to get into a first game i think we do so let's uh, let's give this a run for its money and see what it's like straight out of the box you know i always do this so, so straight in so we know that it's it's going to be well it's incredibly mobile lightweight you don't want to get rammed the overall weight of it isn't isn't there's not a lot of difference between the others now we're looking so that means that the hit points are going to be lower so you want to make sure you're not in front of anybody else so i'm just going to pause this and we'll have a look when we get in okay so we're on the uh, the west side so it depends where the, whether we're closer to the garrison or the forward airstrip as to which we take now i'd like to secure this central area now i'm hoping with the speed we've got to move in potentially take the garrison to start off with Attention. and you are entering the zone controlled by the enemy okay thank you so what i want to do is get in test what it's like dogfighting so even though it's going to be a hard fight i want to know i'm going to get straight into a fight look at the colors it looks gorgeous already so yeah first thing first get in get into a dogfight test it out it's supposed to be nimble let's find out how it's what it's like the guns aren't the best but if it's this nimble show me what you can do pilot. side to side it looks really good okay it's boost so five seconds of boost let's give it a go they're going for there and i'm i'm going to go straight to the main prize straight in let's boost up now we're going to have issues with uh with planes possibly coming in but with this amount of boost we can get to a nice height before we engage there we go ar192 is going to be a, uh, aa could be an issue okay let's actually let's bring them down to our level test out these guns they seem quite quite nice let's drop a bomb on that they the damage itself seems a little bit underwhelming bomb in there now let's get in and kill some planes we'll deal with him on the way through that's it hg51 let's try and catch up to him and it's working really neatly someone coming in on me my engine's been on fire so uh, I've lost my engine so I'm trying to do my best got a stall situation we're on fire ok let's fix that pilot's back let's work around so I'm work in try and dodge that's it oh fix the wing it, it is fragile Oh, I just got it ready. That's so 1100 points. But it feels better than um than I've demonstrated. I think I've I was unlucky with the amount of damage I was taking, but maybe that's some of the characteristics. Maybe we knew it was going to be fragile. Maybe it's prone to other critical things. So let's get in there move in de defend this area and so you need to do something about those critical factors otherwise I, i've got a feeling this is going to be a bit of a monster okay he's gone let's try g zig this way force them to come and deal with us the mg seem really good okay let's work in next fighters very very nice let's circle round he's trying to get us let's boost in he's only Japanese there's only two Japanese on my tail They're not getting the better of us. We're in a dogfight with three of them at the moment. 
cool he's gone that's one taken care of next you my little friend dodge 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 okay cool you are my next victim cool are you behind let's deal with you you're only japanese let's zig and zag let's get around that way let's boost up fix that oh goodness multiple opponents are an issue you need to do something about your armor but it fe it's a little monster the points may not show it but this is a bog standard plane so we're up to 4600 points let's have a look at so we're way above well we're up apart from the i-16 he's he's doing really well and before we get back in let's compare it to the i-16 so survivability yeah firepower is inferior the rest seems pretty good so let's get in there let's start pushing them back you're looking for a good plane to be 2000 plus per sortie and we're up to over that so we're about 2300 per sortie let's get in on him he's gone already okay let's sort this area out let's get in above them two four six only six planes that's fine i can deal with them Cool. Next, couple of planes on my tail. Cool. Next victim. You will do. All positions are captured by the enemy. You must. All you can ever do is your best. Battle. One fight at a time. He's tough, very tough, but he's dead. Next, let's circle round. Multiple incoming shots. Okay, this area is ours. Let's get to the center. All you can do is your best, and this is really, you know, doing doing a good job. Pitch about the rest of the team. Let's get in. Let's kill him, and then we kill the rest. We're gaining on him, so you can see that the uh, the ability, the speed, is in it. And that's it. We're taking him. Now we've got the speed. It's pushing on him. He's the, uh, the, the our main nemesis. Let's get some shots in. That's him gone. Next, you, my little friend. Cool. Then. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. Cool, he's available. gone. Next. Let's push down. We're on fire. Bombs. Oh, I tried to get the bombs away, but the uh, another I-16 got me. You can only do so much. Uh, but um, we got a chance of coming back in. Let's get in. We're going to be attacked here. Let's get in as quick as we can. So we're up to 7,000 points. So you'd expect to be about 6,000 points at this at this juncture. So you, it's very, it's way beyond that. No! The enemy force is too strong. Ah, flying raider. 8,700 points. We lost, but without any equipment, that shows that this plane is a beast of a plane. It really is. So let's have a look at the overall, what's it made, and this is without any special equipment, no special pilot, just pu putting it, the bog standard pilot so you know what you're getting. Even though it was a loss, it felt incredibly good. It's, it's an amazing little dogfighter. It's not a pile, it's not a free garage slot. It, it could be a free garage slot if you want to sell it, but I think you'd be really, really, uh, uh, don't sell it, don't sell it, it's really nice. First class defeat, 74,000 credits, 1,500 experience on a loss, top in the team, and only second behind the uh, the I-16. I don't know whether it was him or the other one I took out, but it was able to... It, it's, it's lovely. It's a lovely, lovely plane. I would have wanted to... Be, knowing how fragile it was, I would have put on something to, uh, to make it a bit... Uh, 
bit stronger against enemy uh, attacks. So say, let's have a look. Rear guns against rear guns, maybe a bit of paint. The reflector side, the guns are good enough on it, so I, you don't have to have that. I would say we want something that's going to boost the. Uh, the let's have a look bit more maneuverability the maneuverability is good enough improve covering definitely so I'd say conceal livery in fact let's just do that so let's go for improve covering then the the, the delivery the improved covering which will then bump up your ability to take damage less crits and improved hit points what else we were having issues with things being knocked out uh, firing accuracy engine polish it's quite a fast plane anyway which is very unexpected aircraft polish I would say to give it even more speed as it's as fast as an AR anyway if you give this 5% more speed you will be behind things and they'll be like what how there you know it's and I think I'm, I'm gonna test this out and I think this is going to be a good setup. Maybe you'd want a bit more on the guns, but as you saw, the guns just chew through anything anyway. So, yes, it'd be a bit, bit faster, but I think the, the extra speed to go from place to play, place to help you to win the games would be very beneficial. The improved covering, definitely, to stop you taking damage and to minimise those crits, because it's prone to crits. So that's one issue. And then going in, taking out AAs, getting in low, dropping those bombs, concealed delivery. A less chance when you're coming up against the behind those tough planes that you will be hunting, because you've now got the additional speed. You saw that with the AR we were hunting, it, we would take less damage from his guns, from the rear guns. So, I think that's a good setup. So, the I-207-4. It's a rocking little beast. Thank you so much, Wargaming for giving us this great little plane. Thank you. I'm the Gaming Bear, and this is the I-207-4. I don't know what else to call it. It's going to have to have a new name, because that's a bit boring for something so good. So put in the comments what you want to call it. Thank you, guys. See you on the next one. Bye!